Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. I want to say thank you for trusting me to read for you. Um, if you find that this reading resonates for you, please like, share, comment. Make sure you comment below. And let me know how it resonates for you, okay? Thank you. So let's get into this. Okay, Aquarius. So this week may open up the opportunity for you to... Um, it's going to be an opportunity opportunity that opens to you where you're going to have to move quickly um think before you leap uh but at the same time the window is not going to be open that long for you to um expand on an idea to passionately go after um to actually move a, a physical move or like move in a different direction okay all right so um yeah that's what's going on for you this week uh aquarius you have um or someone's coming in to you very quickly and saying to you please trust me um you you may have to just wait and see on this person okay you may even ask people about them um uh, for some of you it might just be an outright no in regards to you dealing with this particular person place or thing um Something's moving rather quickly for you, okay? All right, so the situation this week. The Five of Cups, the Five of Wands, wow. So hesitation before making a decision for some of you. Being conflicted, having inner conflict, having all these different going in all these different directions energetically some of you have more than one business it's so much stuff going on with you surrounding you maybe you're getting a lot of attention you could be looking at the past and not looking at the present that you have um something that can be fulfilling to you and maybe that's why it brings you a lot of indecision maybe even gossip rumors um maybe even something that you make up in your in your mind you go in so many different directions or ways or you're acting erratic in a relationship in a marriage some of you are dealing with a lot of different emotions from being upset, sad, hurt, to wanting to fight, wanting to act out, wanting to lash out, say things that you really don't mean, be very petty on some type of level here. Something changed with changed within some dynamic. Something could have changed on the work front in regards to where you work. Things things changed. There's a lot of talk surrounding you or around you. There were maybe you hesitating before you made some decision. Already um, grieving the worst, but nothing has happened here. This could be a relationship. This could be at work. Someone is fighting for you. There's some opportunity that comes into you. Someone is fighting verbally on your behalf. Let's see. The advice for you this week is the Two of Swords, the King of Pentacles. So, you may be... Um, to make a head over heart decision your head is telling you one thing your heart is telling you another this is confusion at its best that makes you stagnant makes you bury your head in the sand be it a stalemate in regards to it says that you need to get your head and your heart on the same level you need to come to terms with something or with someone uh, a particular person in your life um, what you have not done is made a, 
a final decision where you're going to cut some way of thinking out in regards to this person where you're only going to think one way in regards to what the connection is about where it's going what it's bringing you what you're bringing them what you met for what you know you're going to think one straight line way and you're not going to go with so many different so many different emotions and then actions your emotions take you to react in a maybe erratic sporadic type of way because you have not come to a conclusion a decision about maybe a particular person and the advice is for you to come out of a stalemate in regards to this person um you knowing but not knowing your heart feeling like you're all in but your head telling you otherwise or vice versa You're going to have to just commit to one way of thinking about a partnership, a connection. Maybe with the King of Pentacles. That's what the they're advising you to just, if you think one way, then your emotions will follow you. Or if you allow yourself to stay emotionally um, in a good space. Uh, balance then your your mind will follow you. you will always be going towards you know being balanced and grounded and logical and rational your question is someone's intention here your is fear of committing to one position in regards to this person because you feel like you are going to make the wrong decision or you've made wrong decision in, pa in the past so right now the decision you're making is indecision some creative endeavor opportunity comes to you and it's going to It's going. It's asking that you you take action. Some offer may come to you. Whatever it may be, take action. Choose one way of making money, and stick to it, and be committed to it, and then you'll see this type of turnaround in your finances the king of pentacles as long as you're indecisive about which way to go in regards to career and finance then you'll always be divided and, and you know you've heard it before um a divided effort gets re divided results you know so It's either for you or it's not for you. You choose. You don't have any majors. This week is about what you do. What energy you put into. The outcome is the strength card. The queen of swords. And the devil. So... Some of you are trying to have the strength to make the right decision. Cut out all things that don't serve you. You don't want to be impoverished. You don't want to be bankrupt. You don't want to be morally bankrupt or impoverished. You want to make sure you make the right choice because your life is changing. Either for the good or for the bad. But it depends on the choice that you make. Um, make sure you're not making a choice that's going to lead you down to a road of you know, entrapment or feeling stuck and tied and bound to um, 
whether it makes you feel that way initially or after a while make sure you're making the right choice be objective what are your objectives what are you trying to bring about if your goals are to be financially astute and stable and um, be your own boss then we know accepting a job offer whether it be of a great salary or or um, or not or great salary but you have your own business over here that you need to put more time energy effort into you're going to have to have the strength to release the harsh judgment in regards to starting your own business it's going to be too hard it's going to be too strenuous i don't know if i have the time i don't know if i have the resources you're going to have to release that if your objective is to be your own boss um to be um employer and not employee if your objective is to uh, make your own hours do your own thing be creative this is what you have to do be strong and knowing that whatever path you you decide to align yourself with that it, it's going it directly matches with your objectives your end game your end result you have to decide what you want to do you have to decide it now Forgive yourself for past failures if there are any or were. She, she's um the mastermind, the the entrepreneur, the business owner. She's have has so much life experience. So if there were past failures, forgive yourself. Make sure you don't take yourself down that same road with the devil. Make sure you're making right choices. Okay. Uh, let's get some additional advice here. right choices in, in love and career and what you you merge yourself to uh, talks about other people's money um, crowd support mm -hmm. communicate clearly because you aren't being clear five of cups five of wands um, and communication comes in more than one way of verbal it's it's nonverbal you know it's in tones it's in gestures it's, you know communicate clearly it's in your actions it's in saying one thing and doing another communicate clearly okay Aquarius be assertive assert yourself uh, and know that some position is right for you okay or that some person is right for you. Assert yourself. This one fell out. Wow. Abundance is here. If you choose rightly. Wow. The bottom big happy changes. Very nice Aquarius. Um, It's really about what you decide to put yourself in. It's about making right choices, forgiving yourself in regards to maybe past choices, past, past experience. Didn't turn out the way you thought with the five of cups. So you, you put yourself in so many different positions so that you don't fail. This is, I have a job, I have two side businesses. Um, sometimes I help my cousin do this and I help, my, I help a friend do that. You know, anything that don't make a dollar and you're completely divided. Communicate to the universe clearly what it is you want and go after it and be assertive about it. Assert your authority. Authority figures are held to a higher standard. Hold yourself to a higher standard. Okay, Aquarius, I hope that this reading resonated with you. If it does, if it did, go over to the website. Um, book your own reading there. You can have abundance if you choose right, maybe in regards to a Leo person, Capricorn person. Um, some of you keep yourself blindfolded in regards to some Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, but you're gonna have to be assertive in regards to what you will accept with this person, okay? 
um, be objective. Is this person getting you to where you want to be? Is this reciprocated? Are you happy? Is this a, a good cycle, negative cycle? Is it the same over and over again? Choose wisely. All right, Aquarius, thank you for being here. Um, once again, if it resonates, please comment below. Let me know how it resonates for you. Um, I read all comments. I am not able to respond to all of them, but I do read them all. Um, what else? Go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Take advantage of the coupon codes below. If you don't know what they are, you can always email. What are the coupon codes? Um, it's, it's not a secret. Public knowledge. Um, <laughs> Uh, stay safe and healthy Aquarius okay um, you can always ask one question one answer questions uh, go ahead and email that to the email address below and get you all set up for that okay do know that big happy changes are here for you within the next few months it's gonna be a peaceful resolution to something that is dissolving here okay thank you take care many blessings to you